While HGTV continues to inspire with its aspirational content and sparkling hosts, some of its brightest personalities are now gone forever. From flipper flop to house hunters, these stars leave behind an enduring legacy. The HGTV smash hit Flipper Flop stars the formerly married design team of Christina Hawk and real estate investor Tarek Amusa, but the unofficial third member of the gang was fan favorite Frank Miller, aka Frank the Tank. He was the series contractor of choice who actually led the renovation processes as on time and as on budget as humanly possible. But unfortunately, toward the end of his life, Miller was diagnosed with an aggressive form of laryngeal cancer. Following an emergency hospitalization in July 2017, his condition continued to worsen into the fall of that year. While he was still receiving his radiation treatment, Miller appeared on an episode of The Doctors to share his message with fans. What I want for others is to not give up, because there are people who care, people who love you, people who don't even know you. You're in our prayers, always. As I now know, I am. In November 2017, Tarek Musa broke the news on Instagram that Miller had passed away, writing, Goodbye, my dear friend Frank. I have always looked up to you and have respected you as a brother. You have touched not only myself and my family, but thousands and thousands around the world. Raised in Canada, Chris Hyman found his personal and professional calling when he joined the Sabados group design firm in 1992. There, he and founder Steven Sabados quickly fell in love, got married, and starred on TV together in the 2000s. Their shows included So Chic with Steven and Chris, Design Rivals, and of course, Designer Guys, where they took awkward spaces from totally drab to truly fab. I have to tell you, this is the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. Perhaps most famously, the duo also hosted the extremely popular CBC talk show, Stephen and Chris, from 2008 to 2015. But production on the hit series came to an abrupt end following the sudden death of Heinemann in August 2015. He was just 49 years old. As for the future of the show, Sabado said in an official statement, Some of the best times in my life have been creating an incredible show with Christopher by my side and a fantastic team behind the scenes. That being said, it's impossible for me to even imagine continuing the show without him. Heinemann was mysteriously found dead one evening on a street near his Toronto apartment. With no further investigation into the incident and no official cause of death, Heinemann's mother reportedly assumes he died during a sleepwalking episode. Not only did he leave behind the love of his life in Sabados, as well as his family and friends, but he also left behind legions of fans who were just as heartbroken to hear of his passing. But when it comes to those who knew him well, he will also be remembered for the joy and sense of humor that he brought to everything he did. Actor and host Suzanne Huang was also an award-winning indie and underground comedian. From the late 1990s through the 2010s, she frequently appeared on TV, with roles on The Mick, General Hospital, Dexter, Las Vegas, and Arrested Development. But apart from scripted TV, Huang is probably best known for House Hunters, where she served as the face and voice of the series from its beginning in 1999 until 2011. According to the Los Angeles Times, Huang was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2006. She ultimately succumbed to the disease in September 2019 following a 13-year battle. A Facebook post from her partner Jeff Vizane explained that Huang died at her home in Los Angeles. In a touching message, Vizane shared with friends and fans, Suzanne breathed her last breath here at home as I knelt beside her and caressed her. A lifetime of love, adventure, humor, and bliss now lives in our memories. So cry if you will. I've been crying a lot, and laughing, and everything in between. It's all part of life, but laughter was a staple of our dynamic. And I received a tsunami of love and support. As the network also noted in their official statement, Suzanne was warm, funny, and kind with a distinctive voice that made everyone feel at home.